Welcome to Big Blend Radio with your hosts, Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazine.com. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Big Blend Radio with Nancy Reed and Lisa Smith, uh, the crazy mother-daughter travel team and publishers of Big Blend Radio and TV Magazine. That's our variety lifestyle travel and leisure publication and Parks and Travel Magazine that covers parks, travel, and our Love Your Parks tour where we travel full-time uh, across the country. So you can check that all out at BigBlendMagazines.com. And normally, you, I don't start a show saying, Hey, y'all, or hi, y'all, but we are today because uh, we're talking about Natchitoches, Louisiana. And Natchitoches is an awesome, awesome destination. I'd say one of our favorite places, Nancy. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, if we were not traveling full time, I would live there. I love it there. Me too. It's, mm -hmm. yeah, Natchitoches rocks. It really does. Um, it is the oldest settlement in the state of Louisiana. And we visited there uh, for our second time this summer, went all through no man's land and uh, followed part of the sites on the El Camino uh, de los Tejas, El Camino Real de los Tejas National Historic Trail. Uh, we had a lot of good food, Bloody Marys, yeah. <laughs> a lot of good, a lot of good fun and uh, really good beer too, by the way, they've got a new brewery in Natchitoches. You got to go check it out. Uh, but today we're going to hear all about the brand new Natchitoches film trail, as well as the Steel Magnolias film trail, which celebrates over 30 years of Steel Magnolias, a famous movie. And also we're going to hear about the 93rd annual Christ Christmas festival, the Christmas festival of lights, 93 years. Amazing. Oh. Our I know, right? Um, our featured guests today, we have Arlene Gould and Kelly West from the Natchitoches Convention and Visitors Bureau. Hey, y'all. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. Hey, it's good to have you back on here. And we also have Jill Leo. She is from the Natchitoches Historic District uh, Business Association, and she's the director, well, she's the director there and director of the Natchitoches Christmas Festival. Welcome back, Jill. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing good, doing good. good. So, you know, we're in Yuma, Arizona today. So, Arlene, we really should say hola, and you got to say hey, y'all, right? <laughs> That's correct. Yes. Did you just finish that Ola Hey Y'all tour? I know, I know. <laughs> well, we did. We drove. We went from Yuma, Arizona up to uh, Natchitoches. We did, what, East Texas. We did, um, well, New Mexico, northern New Mexico, Colorado, and went into Natchitoches and Little Rock and Springfield, Kentucky. So that truly is Ola to Hi Y'all. So uh, really good to have you back on here. Uh, Everybody, website-wise, you should check this out. Go to Natchitoches.com and spell that. It's N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S.com. Kelly, did I get that right? You sure did. Like hey, a pro. Natchitoches <laughs> is what it looks That's like, but it. it's in Natchitoches. <laughs> and also for a Christmas festival, go check this out, Natchitoches.com. So let's start with location. Arlene, give everyone kind of that overview of that awesome central location of Natchitoches? Well, Natchitoches is located uh, off of Interstate 49, which is north-south. We're about 75 miles south of Shreveport, Louisiana, and we're about 50 miles um, north of Alexandria, which is in the central part of the state. So mm. uh, Interstate 49 actually collects, uh, connects to Interstate 10 to the south and Interstate 20 to the north. Wow, very, very easy to act. Well, you're easy to get to, for sure. I mean, uh, you know, you could go all, Dallas ain't that far, you know, even Little Rock wasn't that far from you. So uh, very easy to get everywhere. Um, also, I wanted to ask Jill, Jill, 93 years for the Christmas festival? That's a long yes, time. It is. Oh, wow. Cool. So it, has, it, has it changed? Like, I mean, are same, the, some of the events the same? Uh, that have continued for the entire 93 years? Uh, many have changed, but it actually started with a one-day event. And now we're up to, we're almost pushing seven weeks if you really add it all together. Oh, yeah, I know, because everyone, the festival starts, what, November 23rd and goes to January 6th to Epiphany. Correct. So it's always the Saturday before Thanksgiving. Okay, wow. And then are you still doing, what, 300,000 lights are on display? Over 300,000 lights, yes, and around 100 set pieces and growing. Wow. And so some of those, when we went on the Cane River 
cruise. Remember, Arlene, on, on that boat, we, we love the boat rides out there. Mm -hmm. um, we saw a lot of like lights that weren't lit, you know, because it was daytime and it wasn't Christmas, but is that part of it that those get lit up during the Christmas festival? There are a few set pieces that sometimes uh, stay out during the year for different reasons and whatnot, especially our American flag. Obviously, that's something that we can use throughout the year. So there are a few monumental pieces that will be left out. But, yes, they are definitely part of our um, our big entourage for, for our Christmas season. And then when it comes to the festival, it's pretty much everything is on, you know, the bank of the river, of, the, of Cane River Lake. And uh, you've got that wonderful new amphitheater. I mean, that's a massive amphitheater. So it's pretty much all on, on that side, right, on the riverfront. Yes, majority of the activities do take place on the riverbank. We have fireworks and live music every Saturday, um, beginning on the 23rd, and they um, run through December 28th. So every Saturday, if you can't come for... Our big festival day, you can always um, catch us on another Saturday. Okay, yeah, there's because uh, you got music. I was looking at the, the schedule, like you have music every day, like almost every weekend. There's music, there's Santa, there's something for kids. I mean, it just seems you have a lot of different events uh, for people to attend and, and have a good time out there. So um, everyone, again, that starts November 23rd to January 6th. But I want to back up here because uh, there's a really cool weekend coming up the Blush and Bashful Weekend. Uh, Kelly, you want to tell us what that's all about? Certainly. You know, <clears throat> the movie Still Magnolia is, um, you know, a favorite among people um, across the nation and um, it has sentimental feelings for a lot of people. And um, that story was actually written, it's actually about a local family here in Natchitoches, written by a Natchitoches local and completely filmed right here in Natchitoches as well. So this year is celebrating the 30th anniversary of the release of the film. And so we're celebrating the 30th anniversary right along with it, um, November 7th through 10th. We're calling it a blush and bashful weekend. The 7th starts with a cake contest. Of course, you gotta have an armadillo cake contest. Cool. I mean, it's one of the most iconic things in the movie. Um, so we're doing that. Um, on Thursday and then Friday, there's a red carpet premiere. Our local um, movie theater is showing the film from that Friday, the 8th through the 14th of the following week. Um, it was actually originally premiered at Parkway Cinema here in Natchitoches, along with Dallas, Atlanta, and Los Angeles, or a few others. Um, but it was, so it's very monumental that it's coming back to this or this year where originally premiered um mm -hmm. and you'll be able to meet and greet with um extras from the film there'll be some armadillo cake um so it'll be a, a really fun time that friday evening and then saturday is the bulk of the events um with an easter egg hunt of course that <laughs> final scene you know one of the final scenes in the movie where they're all down on the uh, river bank during the easter egg hunt um we're recreating that on saturday morning for kids we're launching the Natchitoches Film Trail, a brand new product on that morning as well. We have a character lookalike contest. We have a speaker presentation that afternoon with Bobby Harling, the writer. Wow. The, in, you know, the story being about um, Shelby in the movie, but Susan in real life and Bobby being her brother. Um, and then that evening, there's a blush and bashful reception at the Still Magnolia Bed and Breakfast. Um, and then Sunday, a Blush and Bashful brunch and um, St. Augustine Catholic Church is opening up their mass to the public. Um, of course, you know, welcoming anybody to come in because that was actually where the wedding scene was filmed. Mm. And that, everything draped in Blush and Bashful. Mm, that, that was really, uh, that, that um, you know, church, Arlene, you took us there. It is yes. so beautiful. And that's where um, Ms. Clementine Hunter is buried, right? That's correct. She mm. sure is. Yes. Yeah. And this, you know, Steel Magnolias is an iconic movie. I mean, and I, listen, everybody needs to have armadillo cake sometime in their life, you know, but, <laughs> you know, Nancy, we love our armadillos. That's a first Yeah. One. Yeah. <laughs> I, it, They're so cute. 
They are so cute. So I, I want an armadillo cake. I think Nancy should enter that contest because she used to make animal <laughs> right. cakes. I know. I think you should do that. So this is all happening on November 7th on. And uh, so that's a Blush and Bashful weekend. So this, you've created a Steel Magnolias film tour, but Arlene, you've also gone like, okay, we have the Steel Magnolia sites that you can go to, like St. Augustine Catholic Church. And there's all these, you know, you've got the Steel Magnolias house, which is a bed and breakfast. You've got so many different sites that you can go to that are part of the story and part of the film location. But uh, Natchitoches is it, a lot of different movies have been filmed there. And I think this is really great because it ties in uh, because Louisiana now has a film trail, right? Yes, that's correct. Last year in 2018, the Louisiana Office of Tourism launched the Louisiana Film Trail. And um, you'll find it funny that they did that to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the original Tarzan movie that was filmed uh, down in Morgan City, Louisiana in 1918. Wow. So um, they launched the Louisiana Film Trail. So we said, well, you know what? Natchitoches has had a few movies filmed here. We're gonna do a Natchitoches Film Trail. So cool. we're, we're happy and proud to uh, unveil and launch that on our weekend that we're celebrating the 30 years of uh, Steel Magnolias coming out in November the 7th through the 10th. So. Mm. But uh, some of the other movies that were filmed here, some people may remember John Wayne in The Horse Soldiers. Mm -hmm. That was in Natchitoches around 1959. And then Man in the Moon, which was Reese Witherspoon's first movie, which was probably about 14 years old. And it was filmed here around 1991. And all three of these movies are actually based on true stories. Mm. So those are the three primary movies, but we have several others. Uh, we had A Year Without Santa Claus, which was with John Goodman filmed here in uh, uh, 2006. And it was filmed, of course, during the summer months. It was really hot, but he had on that big, thick red velvet. Oh, man. <laughs> and um, and then Chris Christopherson and um, Sam, uh, Sam Shepard came back. And, uh, of course, you know, he was uh, not Tom, not Sam Shepard, uh, Tom Skerritt, who was in Steel Magnolias. Uh, they filmed, in a, uh, they starred in a movie filmed down at Magnolia Plantation uh, in 2009. It was called For Sale by Owner. And then we have a new documentary movie about uh, Clementine Hunter, mm. uh, her, her life and her works, and you know, here in Natchitoches. But we have quite a few of them. So we just did a little map guide where people can go out to some of those sites to see where, you know, different, different uh, movie uh, scenes were filmed here in Natchitoches Parish. And everyone, if you go to Natchitoches.com, and it's Natchitoches, so N-A-T-C-H-I-T-O-C-H-E-S, Natchitoches.com, you can get the film trail, you can download it, so you can just, you know, print it out for when you're driving around. Um, you can, the film trail for Natchitoches, and then also Steel Magnolias, and also download some cool postcards from Steel Magnolias. Kelly, those are cool. I love that. <laughs> yes. They had a lot of uh, famous quotes out of that movie, and we still walk around the office and tease each other every now and then using some of those. So. <laughs> I'll tell you what, your uh, Steel Magnolias, those fans, those paper fans, they came in very yes. handy when we visited you this summer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know how little we church fan. Yeah, yeah, I love those. Uh, Kelly, I do want to say I know that you handle a lot of the marketing side of Natchitoches, and um, the new website is fantastic. It is so easy to go around and see everything and you, everyone just, you're going to want to go. You go look at the website. It's cool. I just, I, I love it when you see websites get a new, you know, a new little update and it's, and it's beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. A little nip and tuck, a little facelift. <laughs> That's I was going to say that. That's the good word. The right new there. hairdo. Yeah. The, the new hairdo. The new hairdo, but it looks really yeah. great. It's really great and, and just so easy to get information. It, it, we were really excited to be able to kind of uh, make a few changes and just really make it a little bit more sleek and classic, but still, you know, more modern than it was. So yeah. um, we hope everyone does enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It's, everybody, all the schedule of events is there. You'll find lodging, you'll find the film trails, the postcards, and uh, all the different attractions. And of course, uh, the calendar of events is important because Natchitoches really does celebrate. Uh, they, they like to have a party. Uh, we went to, I think one of the first events we've been there uh, was uh, for the 40th annual folk festival. And it's still like, I can't wait to put all that footage together for people to see what we experienced is still one of my most favorite events I've ever been to because it was just so real down home, real music, uh, crafts, art, 
I mean, good food, meat pies, fry bread, you know, it was really, really a, a blast. So I know you guys know how to throw a party. And Jill, I'm coming back to you because you're throwing a big Christmas party. I mean, seven week party. You can't complain. <laughs> you can't complain about that. But, um, you know, we're talking about, oh, we've got the, you know, the film trails, but uh, you know, in fall, I know that you always do the historic home tours in Natchitoches, but you have a Christmas tour of homes too, right? That's part of the whole celebration. Yes, Christmas tour of homes always takes place the second and third week of December. Um, and it is a huge um, draw during our Christmas season. If you've not visited during then, you definitely need to check it out. Mm. And, and then also the holiday living history tour. That's cool. Yes, that's, that's, also, um, another part um, of the tour, they do try to change things up each year. And I think um, with kind of tacking on to Steel Magnolias, there'll be bits and pieces of that as well um, during mm. the Christmas. So you won't want to miss that if you're not unable to be here for the Blush and Bashful weekend. Oh, okay, cool. That's, that's good for people to know. And then also I saw that, um, let me see if I could, Arlene, you're going to listen to see if I say this right. Okay. Here we so, go. <laughs> I know. Christmas on the cane at Fort St. <laughs> Baptista's State Historic <laughs> Trouble. St. John Baptiste. St. John. I went to go there and I went, no, you're wrong. I'd second guess myself. <laughs> See? Never do that. St. <laughs> John yes, Baptiste. Yes, that's, um, that's a replica of the original fort when Natchitoches was established in the early 1700s. And so that's their program. It's a state historic site. Uh, so they have that scheduled uh, during the, the Christmas holiday season. And uh, so they do Christmas back in the 1700s. You know, they're all in period costume and making crafts and doing things like they would have been doing back in the day. Wow. I wonder if they had candy back then. I mean, that's important. I don't know if they had candy. <laughs> yeah. Of course yeah. They did. Maybe molasses. Something with molasses. Cookies. It's, it's, I always go to the cookies and the cake mm -hmm. and the candy you know i can't help it i know yeah <laughs> hey do you guys do, does the meat pies um is, is that part of the festival to you, jill we want to know about the oh, fried food because we we really we load it up <laughs> that's a year good. round that's a year round thing the meat pie we that's have meat pie pies for breakfast lunch or dinner or midnight <laughs> snack <laughs> okay i'll take it and tater tots <laughs> that was Ooh, it the, yeah yeah mm -hmm. the, was it the crispios Kelly, am I saying it wrong? Uh, yeah, Crispitos. Crispitos, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, so Jill, what's happening with food? Do we get cookies with Santa? Yes, uh, actually we have, um, we try to do a few new events each year or introduce new things. On opening weekend, which is November 23rd, we are planning a Cookies with Santa event. Um, we're going to have five different time slots um, that your children can come meet, take pictures with Santa. Um, have a delicious cookie and work on a Christmas craft. So mm, um, that's something cool. new that uh, we're introducing this year. I love that you're doing crafts. You know, so many kids are walking around with phones that they don't know what a craft is, you know? Right. <laughs> so it does, and it's fun get the glitter out and, you know, all that good stuff and, and get, sure. you know, get creative. So that's good. But I did see that you have a fun run too. And that's probably an important thing to do with all that good food in Natchitoches. <laughs> is the um the chamber is actually introducing um the lights away 5k on friday uh, december the 13th um hmm. they're actually partnering with our local nsu track team um to pull that off it's like i said uh it's a it's a new event for this time um they'll actually be able to run under the christmas light so oh wow um, that'll be a action and they can be all lit up if they want to be <laughs> i want to be lit up yeah that's it <laughs> <laughs> You'd see me crawling. All right, I'd be a lit up crawling person. <laughs> be crawling. We are having a fun, a one mile fun run as well that yes. you can walk or run. So oh. there's something for everyone. Right. We'll push Priscilla, our little sock monkey, in a little pram. Yeah, yeah. There you go. exactly. We could light her up. I, oh. <laughs> she's she always lighting. lit. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> That's funny. But so this, I mean, this is pretty epic. And then again, like I was saying, everyone, it goes to January 6th. You can go to NatchitochesChristmas.com. Uh, am I leaving? You've got so many events going on um, with Jill. Am I leaving anything out? The music and the entertainment, that's pretty much every weekend, right? With the different bands. If I could mention two things really Please. quick. Yeah. We are 
to bring back our lighted barge parade. We've not had it in almost Ooh. 10 years. Um, that's going to take place on Cane River Lake on the 14th at 5, December 14th at 5.30. Um, that'll nice. be leading up to the fireworks, so we're excited to bring that back. We also are introducing um, an ice skating rink on Friday, December 20th and Saturday, December 21st. Um, it's actually an artificial ice rink. But um, for our warm weather here, it works. It will work rather well. <laughs> um, so we're uh, excited about um, bringing that to downtown this year. This is nice. a great way to you know, go have hmm. some fun, uh, but also you know go shopping. So the, the, don't the restaurants and the uh, shops stay open a little longer, Jill, during during the festival? Um, we try to accommodate the later hours. At least stay open until the fireworks. Um, okay. Played, uh, but yes shopping and enjoying the restaurants on front street are just another added bonus when you come downtown during the holiday season yeah because that's really cool i think uh, for people to go and you know instead of doing the typical mall thing to go and go to the actual you know the mom and pop shops you know you've got the oldest mercantile in in the we, state right the, the uh Kaffrey okay. frederick is the oldest in the state so uh you can find anything in there literally i know <laughs> it's really fun yeah, that yeah. they understand the big blend concept of variety. Yeah. It's the spice of life. <laughs> yeah, it's a big blend brown beam. <laughs> I know, it is. It's a big blend stop. Uh, Kelly, I saw on Facebook that there's a new shop, though, in town, a Christmas shop. Yes. Oh. Um, we, they had the ribbon cutting. They've been open for a few weeks, but they had the ribbon cutting for Clary's Christmas store yesterday. We we're super excited. You know, we've oh, been wow. for a Christmas town. We need a Christmas store. And so... Someone saw the vision and, and ran with it, and um, they're going to do really well. Oh, that's awesome. You guys are headed towards year-round Christmas. You know that, huh? It's just a year-round yeah. party. That's it's a year, okay. Year-round party. Cool. I like yeah. it. I like yeah. it. Um, Arlene, I also saw that, you know, um, Cane River Creole National Historical Park and the, and the Heritage Area, see people are coming to shop right now. Ring-a-dingy, <laughs> ring-a-ding. Um, Arlene, that... It's 25 years now since uh, the establishment of the park in the heritage area. That I'm is like correct. This year, the Cave River National Heritage Area is celebrating their 25 years. Um, and actually, that, in, that includes Oakland and Magnolia Park and the Cave mm -hmm. River National Heritage Area. And they're just wonderful tourism partners, um, you know, here in the community. And so they'll have events, gosh, I think all through... Well, and I know tomorrow they have a big event at the national park, but they have several events scheduled for their for their celebration of 25 years here in Natchitoches. Well, then we have to have a party every week, you know. That's right. <laughs> we have to celebrate. They're having too much fun over there. I know. Yeah. I know. So, but 25 years is a big deal because I know that yeah. Cane River Creole National Histor uh, Historical Park and also the Heritage Area. I mean, they were kind of one of the new kids on the block, but. Then all of a sudden you blink and they've been there for a quarter of a century. <laughs> you, know, you, look, you know, so that's that's exciting. And of course, all these historic sites are part of the heritage area, uh, the National Historic District. Um, and that's what you're connected with, Jill, really is the historic district of Natchitoches, right? Correct. Okay, so that's the downtown. And then you've got the heritage area, the, the heritage drive, that beautiful scenic, you know, byway heritage trail that you can follow. Uh, you could, there's old juke joints out there. If Arlene takes you around, she'll go see that shack back there. That's a juke joint. <laughs> and all <laughs> kinds of, well, you guys had some parties way back when, you know. And we went, didn't we go to the commissary for, for lunch or dinner too? Did we make it to the commissary? We didn't. We passed that. It was just, all, you know how it is. Our timing went, you know. But Kelly did take us for drive through daiquiris. <laughs> That's important. <laughs> And, and it's, we, it's a must experience for anyone that does not live in Louisiana. They must go through the drive through Jackery store. I know. And then we did yeah. a, a live radio broadcast and giggled all the way through it. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> it, was a, it was a great, great time. Uh, but also, yeah, uh, the Melrose Plantation. And Melrose Plantation is also part of the Natchitoches Film Trail. I was just looking at all those sites. I mean, you, this is... What a neat way these, this film trail, I think, is so neat because it gives people another way of viewing the history that you have mm -hmm. in Natchitoches. I mean, even the cemetery, because that, that cemetery, what's the, the oldest cemetery in Louisiana? It's the oldest cemetery in the Louisiana Purchase Territory, yeah. Mm. Wow, so, how amazing. amazing. That's where the, the famous funeral scene you know, took place. And there's actually a monument 
in the uh, in the cemetery to mark the spot where it was filmed. So. Mm. Okay, so you know I like to ask this question before the three of you leave us. Um, it's holiday season coming up, you know, so whether it's Thanksgiving, Christmas, I just want to know how each of you like to celebrate in Natchitoches, you know, celebrate that season. What are your favorite things to do? What are your favorite things to eat? <laughs> <laughs> you know, where are you going to go shopping? So let's start with you, Kelly. Well, I'm super excited. There's actually an event coming up. Our local service league here in town does a jingle and mingle open house, shopping open house event. So um, I've actually been eyeing things in stores and making my list so I can purchase them that night. Um, but yeah, I mean, so many of the shops here on Front Street have things that you cannot find mm. in a department store or even sometimes online. I mean, you have to search really hard. And, so they're one of a kind gifts and that's what I love to give my family. And so, um, you know, I'll just be celebrating with my family in a couple of different ways um, throughout this holiday season. So I'm just excited and ready, ready for this holiday. So what, what can you like, or do you have like, you're, you've got all these trees, right? Longleaf pines. I learned all about longleaf pines in the Kasachi forest, right? But um do you have places where you can go get Christmas trees? Because I know you've got kids, you know, Kelly, um, you know, does that tradition happen in, in Natchitoches? Yeah, we actually have two Christmas tree farms here in Natchitoches um, that you can go and you can pick out your Christmas tree and tag it. You can do it early or you can go and buy one right off the lot. So um, I personally don't do the real thing. I had a traumatizing experience as a child. Um, okay, now I want to know. <laughs> but, but we do like to go to the Christmas tree farm because a lot of times they have neat activities and uh, especially for kids around um, their sales anyway. So we do like to visit and um, mm. I love the smell of a real tree. I just, mm. I, I don't know about having a real one. Okay. Wow. Okay. That, that's, that's a, <laughs> you know, each to our own, right? Um, but that's really cool to have the, the tree farms out there. And, um, this has got nothing to do with Christmas, but I just had to bring this up. It was, it was something I circled. Uh, Arlene, you took us to Cane River Brewing Company. Yes. You know, remember yes. I got lost getting to the river when we first got into town. First thing we're doing is we're going on a boat ride and I somehow ended up in the brewery. I don't know how that happened, but uh, we did make it. it was the same. <laughs> but I was reading that they're having a Dolly lookalike contest at the brewery. <laughs> <laughs> for the bunch of best for right. weekend. Can okay, they are. Earlier in the day, we're going to have a character look like contest down at the amphitheater on the riverbank for all the Steel Magnolia characters. But that night, Saturday evening, they're going to have the Dolly look like contest <laughs> at the uh, new Cane River Brewery that they're hosting. So that ought to be a hoot. I bet. It especially, be especially being a university town with NSU. You know, I'm, I can just imagine what kind of party that's going to be. That's going to be pretty funny. I think, you know. I agree. It will and, be. And good beer, by the way. It's good seasonal beers and, and just it's really a neat place. So I just want to give really, a shout out to the brewery. Really venue. They've done a great job with uh, with the brewery. Yeah. Mm. So Jill, tell us about your holiday season. What are, what are you up to? <laughs> if, do you get to breathe at all when you put on this kind of <laughs> party? The holiday season is quite busy for me. So yeah. my choice um, trip on the weekend normally is Sunday evening, um, grab my six-year-old daughter and my husband, go to the riverbank when there's a few less people there, get a funnel cake, you know, sit on the bench, kind of take in the light. There's still people around, there's Christmas music playing, but it's a little bit quieter, um, and you can sit there and just kind of take it all in. Mm, um, nice. it, it is mm. nice to, to stand there on Saturday night and see the fireworks and see everything come together. Um, there are a lot of people that play a huge role in making this come together. We have tons of volunteers mm. as well as workers. So um, it's really amazing to be a part of something like this. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, Arlene, are you going on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. Well, I love going on the boat. I think it's a, I think it's a, it's great fun. But you know, just this morning, I received a text from a friend from out of town that has never seen the Christmas lights. So we talked about, you know, what would be a good time for her to come. And I thought to myself on the way to work, I think one of my challenges and goals this year for the season will be to invite someone that I know that has never seen the Christmas lights to come. 
mm-hmm. uh, you know, for, for a weekend, uh, except for the weekend of December 13th and 14th. That's my mama's birthday. So she oh. got to make the trip with all the kids and grandkids and all my nieces and nephews and great nieces and nephews. But, uh, but I think that would be fun to invite someone, you know, that I know that has never seen the lights and you hear them say, oh man, I've been wanting to do that. Oh, you know, I've known that for years and I've never made it. It's like, well, now's the time. Come, uh-huh. you know. I so, love that. Uh, I think mm. this year that'll be the year for the people that I know that that has always said they wanted to come but haven't come. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk them into coming and saying this is the time to come and do it. I love that. And 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 mm-hmm. that person, I want you to know that you're probably gonna experience Arlene's cooking, and you want to experience that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Does you know? Well, you know, you know, it's fun, you know, to take people to see the different, you know, sites and, um, you know, just to kind of meet the community, people in the community and, and share that, um, mm-hmm. you know, that's what days are all about anyway. So, um, yeah, I think that would be kind of fun this hey, year this- to have somebody different each weekend to come up that's never experienced the Christmas lights or the fireworks. Oh, that's awesome. I love right. that. that mm-hmm. You know, because the downtown is magical. You really have the most amazing downtown with the riverfront and, you know, the brick street and just the whole, the architecture and, you know, all of it is really cool. And I encourage people when, when you come to town, if you could do this during the day before you get into all the events and everything is to go on the guided historic walking tour of Natchitoches uh, with the Cane River National Heritage Area, because you just, that really, that, that walking tour, it's, I, it should be like the first thing you do in Natchitoches if you can, because you'll understand the history. Out of the fort, you know, to go visit the fort, because that's how Natchitoches was established, mm-hmm. and that was the beginning of Natchitoches, so, mm-hmm. um, so then when you experience the rest of the part, it all kind of falls into place. Yeah, because you have so, so much history, and uh, over the next few years here, everyone, you're going to be hearing a lot of interviews. Uh, we're going to be digging into Natchitoches history and no man's land history, because we really uh, I can't believe all that we all that we experienced when we came out to visit. So we have a lot of stories to share, and we'll have a lot of interviews coming up on the history of Natchitoches and No Man's Land in in Northwest and Central Louisiana. So thank you, all three of you, for joining us. Always a pleasure. Again, everyone, the websites are Natchitoches.com, NatchitochesChristmas.com. Uh, you also can uh, see everything about Natchitoches Christmas up on BlendRadioAndTV.com. We have a cool jigsaw puzzle for you to do with the, with the fireworks. And um, on NationalParkTraveling.com, follow us there, too, because you'll be able to keep up with all the different stories of Natchitoches that we do from our Love Your Parks tour. And, of course, just, you know, sign up for our newsletter. Keep up with us. It comes out once a week with the magazines as well. And um, keep up with the radio shows that way. So I always love to play music for our guests. Now, usually it's it's Louisiana music, but I I did something a little different because this is, you know, airing in early November. And I thought if I played Christmas music that um, I'll get in trouble because <laughs> we have to have Thanksgiving <laughs> first. So this song is from our good friend, Nikki Chris. She's based out of North Carolina. And you can everyone go to Nikki Chris. It's K-R-I-S, NikkiChris.com. She loves Christmas. Uh, and it was off of her latest album, Heartbeat. And this song is called Light It Up because, hey, that's pretty cool. You've got to get lit up. You've got to light it up, you know, big time (laughs) and year round. Uh, So especially with those 300,000 plus lights. So we thought, let's play Light It Up. But, you know, the song is, it's a love song. So I thought, well, you know, now that kind of ties in, though it's about someone having a naughty new new affair. But (laughs) it does have a big 80s vibe. And I thought we need to go 80s, you know because it's still Magnolia. So that Mm -hmm. is the choice of song. So here it is, everyone. Light it up by Nikki Chris. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, ladies. Addicted to you. Yeah, I anticipate your every move. Your every move. I'm easily blinded.
addicted to you. 